Hey everyone, Surreal Canine here. Welcome back for more just Gaia 4, The Promise Revisited. I almost said Absence of Detention. <laughs> In the last episode, we decided to let Fuka have a happy dream, and then the netherworld got destroyed. And in this episode, you will see that I have two uh, Towers of Babel. I have no idea why this is the case. It's pretty obviously as some kind of glitch. The actual thing that is here is Sasha, our healer, and she has turned into a tower for some reason. <laughs> More to the point, I have unlocked the Nether Shoe Lab and put Fenric into it for reasons you will see shortly. Let's head back to the base. And go into an area that has a lot of room to move around. Let's try the rehabilitation room. I don't know if this has enough. Perish. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, just barely. Alright, so as you can see, the Nether Shoe Lab uh, greatly enhances the movement stat of anybody in it, but they can only move in a straight line. It makes things a little awkward, let's say. <laughs> also, I forgot to heal my dudes. Me too. Oh, well. I also also forgot to change the enemy level back to normal. Sometimes I just gotta herb a derb a derb a derb. And that unlocks the Nether Express. So, uh, let's go check that out. We won't be needing this anymore. See if I can get everything back the way it was now. Like, this is stupid. Somebody else turned into a tower. <laughs> what the heck? That's as good a placement as any. Everybody is turning into <laughs> what? have the tower. What the heck, man? Oh, wait! Those are graves. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Here I was thinking I unlock I encountered some crazy glitch, but no, it's just uh, it's just everybody's dead.
Uh. Why? Oh, okay. Anyway, enough fooling around. Let's go to the Senate. Check out the Nether Express. I need 500. Money. Well, never mind. <laughs> Here I was getting all hyped about there being a. Th also, I forgot to put Fenric back in a useful spot. My lord, your orders. Uh, let's put him here. Alright. I forgot to do a thing. This is just me being all sorts of crazy forgetful for some reason. That's how we want to do this. <clears throat> okay, let's go. We can skip the demo this time. Alright, now with even less fail. In between videos, I managed to uh, unlock the next tiers of Fighter and Prinny, so uh, that's a thing. It's not an especially significant thing, but it nonetheless is a thing. I think I might have uh, gotten ahead of the melody there. Brain rise. Ooh, double the target's int. That might be handy if it, uh. I had anybody else that even needed int. Well, technically, uh. Stella, you can use magic, but, uh, she's more of a physical unit, really. Oh, whoops, I forgot to turn animations back on, too. You resist fire, so it's not gonna be very hmm. beautiful.
Oh, whoops, I just left, uh... I just left my nature and not telling him to do anything. I guess he's dying this turn. Attacked by Heart's friend. That means the support attack from the Heart Cannon got triggered. Great. Yeah, I sure look oh. Sorry, Red Skull. You're kind of a dude. <laughs> you missed. Mm, let's let a print do Yeah. Where's Fuka? Oh, right, I killed her. What's everybody? Labor for one sardine a day. That's standard treatment for Prinny. You're no exception. Who put Etna in charge? Seriously. No, you're lying. I heard that normal Prinnies are treated like VIPs. They only work for an hour, get three meals a day, with dessert, and even get nap time. But they also live in luxury hotel suites. How did you manage to believe all that? So, are you saying that? Even if we exterminate all of the normal printies, our living conditions won't change at all? You are correct. Nothing will change. How could this be? This is impossible! Lass, who do you think the printies are? People become printies to pay off the sins they committed in the human world. Prinnies don't get to choose their living conditions. The only thing they get to do is work hard until they pay off their sins. Why? I didn't do anything bad. You're lying. This is all a lie. I want to prove of this. Hey, hey, wait. I'm not done talking to you. My lord, please wait. There is a contaminated area up ahead filled with pollution. Here it's brimming with mutated monsters. <coughs> See? Enough, Fenric! As a training instructor, I cannot leave her there! Let's go, Fenric! <sighs> All is for my lord.
Huh. I could have sworn Fuka was the end boss of the chapter. I guess she's not. <laughs> Alright, in the next episode, I guess we're gonna go save her. See y'all then.